If you're a new Amazon seller or soon to be Amazon seller and you don't want to waste tons of time and money with the wrong software tools, this video is for you. I'm going to walk through the only software you need as a beginner Amazon seller in 2025 and the best practices, pricing, use cases, and everything in between. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So the first software I want to break down is the SellerAmp Chrome extension, which is our product research tool, which answers three questions. Can you sell it? Is it profitable? And how fast does a specific product sell? So if we take a look here, we can see here's the Chrome extension right here with the Prof Calculator and everything. The nice thing is the seller and Prof Calculator takes into account shipping, fees, sales tax, literally everything for a specific product. So you don't have to do any mental math. Starting off, we can take a look at this listing right here. You always want to be on Google Chrome when you're doing online arbitrage. So you just go ahead to the Google Chrome store. Once you get a seller and subscription, it's $20 per month and you can literally get two weeks complete completely free here. And then you just want to install it on your Google Chrome browser. Taking a look at this listing, we can see the buy box price is currently $30 on this listing. So taking a look over here on the seller Amp Chrome extension, we can see the sales rank on this specific product is 15,000. The sales rank shows how fast a specific product sells. As a complete beginner, you pretty much want to be staying below a 200,000 sales rank. The estimated sales per month, you want to stay above 30 estimated sales. And then the max cost on this product here, which is what we're going to need to be in order to be profitable here. So say we pay $14.06, that puts us exactly at our 30% ROI criteria and above $3 profit. We can see it shows up green all over here, but if I put in you know, 18 here, it all goes red because our profit wouldn't be good enough our return on investment wouldn't be good enough or anything like that. So basic product research criteria when you're a beginner is below a 200,000 sales rank, above 30 estimated sales per month, $3 plus profit per unit, and a 30% plus return on investment. Luckily, we can actually buy this right over on the Gap website for $20, which if you're paying attention, isn't actually profitable. But luckily, another tool I really like using that's absolutely free Coupon Birds here, which is a free Chrome extension that shows us different coupons here, actually shows us this GF Spring coupon, which gives us another 15% off. So you definitely want to have Capital One Shopping and Coupon Birds as well. They're completely free. They're just Chrome extensions that show you deals on different websites. So now I can actually get 15% off this. But the cool thing about the Gap website is if I scroll to the bottom here, there's also this email signup coupon as well that I can go ahead and use. And you might be thinking, okay, an email signup coupon, I can only use that once. Luckily, if you just put a period in the middle of your email, it actually lets you get unlimited emails right there. Same thing with the plus sign at the end here. So I can actually go ahead and do math within SellerAmp here and take off 15% here and bring this down to 17. But there's also that extra 20% code right here that we go ahead and now we can see literally do that math in SellerAmp. Now this is a nice profitable product here. When you get the SellerAmp Chrome extension, you also want to make sure in the settings here on SellerAmp.com that you plug in your sales tax correctly. That way your SellerAmp numbers are 100% accurate. Say you live in Texas, your sales tax is going to be 8.25%. So the nice thing is SellerAmp literally takes into account all that stuff I mentioned and you don't have to do any mental math. This price technically isn't including sales tax, but the SellerAmp calculator is counting sales tax right there because I added in the settings. So this is 100% accurate here, right? So the SellerAmp Chrome extension is really, really important here for knowing the basics of product research here. Now there's some other stuff that goes into it. I have a full tour on my channel, but that's enough to get you going product research wise as well in terms of actually qualifying if an item is good. You might be thinking, okay, how do I actually find other winning products though? And the best way to do that is going to be storefront stalking, which is not going into the random websites and checking their clearance sections, which is called manual sourcing, which you might think you should do as a beginner. Don't. Instead, just do storefront stalking using SellerAmp, where we can actually scroll down here and take a look at the other sellers that carry this product and see, okay, who's got you know 25, 50 plus reviews here? So we can see 170 reviews there. That person's definitely making money. And now to find other winning products, we can just open up this storefront to the sellers here and we can see have lots of reviews. And pretty quickly here, we can see bunch of different brand ideas, bunch of different category ideas here. And then we can also see all their fastest selling winning products here and the sales ranks on those specific items. And then if you're ever worried about ungating different products, I have a full tour on that on my channel as well here. That's the basics of SellerAmp, the first Chrome extension you want to get, which is $20 per month. Capital One Shopping and Coupon Birds are both free. You want to get those too. 
If you guys are loving this content and you want personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching directly from me to implement this stuff, now's a great time to apply for my coaching program. I'll leave a link down below in the description for my coaching program application. It is by application only. You can see some other people we've helped. If you're hardworking, serious, and want to start or grow your Amazon is the right way with personalized one-on-one -on -one help directly from me, take a look at that at the link in the description. Back to the video. So seller amp shows us how fast an item sells and if it's profitable today, but wouldn't it be awesome to know if it's an item's been profitable over time. And the way we do that is via the Keepa Chrome extension. So if I scroll down here, I have Keepa embedded just in Google Chrome, same way with seller amp, you just go to the Google Chrome store, download it. Keepa is $20 per month as well. So when you initially get Keepa, it's going to show three different charts here. Personally, I'd recommend clicking sub ranks right here to take out that middle chart, right? So now it just shows the bottom chart and the top chart here. The cool thing about Keepa is it shows us the supply, demand, and price history ever since the listing was added on Amazon. So for this specific item, that's literally 900 days. Sometimes it'll even be you know five or 10 years on Amazon that we can see of the sales history, but you want to focus on the three month data primarily here. So if I go to the three month here, now I can see how well this listing sold in the more recent history, right? So the bottom keep a chart shows the competition. I get asked all the time, how much competition is too much competition on a specific product? And I actually would recommend, don't really worry about that. Focus a lot more on the trend. If the competition's going up, which in this case it's not, it's going down, the price is probably not going in the right direction either. But if the competition's going down, the price is probably either steady or going up, which we can see in this case, it was like 25 or 26 on that pink buy box line. And now it's getting closer to 30 in the buy box here, right? So the bottom keep a chart shows the competition. You want that either nice and steady or going down. We can see in this case, it actually went up a little bit there in like mid-March, but now it's going down. No one of the price is going up. And then the top keep a chart shows the sales rank over time. So it makes perfect sense. The weather's getting a little bit warmer. So the sales rank's going up on this hoodie, which means demand's going down, but the sales rank's still excellent. You just want to make sure the sales rank in green's been good over time here. And then we'd see the price action. It's actually trending up, which makes perfect sense because the price is going down as well right here, right? And we'd see, you know, over a year makes perfect sense. The sales rank was a lot lower during the winter, close to a thousand, which is ridiculous here but primarily focus on the three month data right here. So using seller amp and keeper, which is all you need for product research, you primarily want to look for pretty much strictly items below a 200 K rank, right? Which seller amp shows you right here above 30 estimated sales per month. And then in terms of profitability, focus on items with $3 plus profit per unit, a 30% plus return on investment that do not have competition shooting up on the bottom keep a chart and don't have their price shooting down on the top keep a chart. You want competition either nice and steady or going down and price either nice and steady or going up right there. That's the basics of seller amp and keepa. And then I'm sure you're wondering, okay, when I actually get listings, how the heck do I actually get them on the Amazon platform? That's where our listing shipping and analytics tool comes in, Boxum, which is how you're going to list products for both Amazon FBM and Amazon FBA, as well as create Amazon FBA shipments and know all your numbers in terms of analytics to run your business by the numbers. Now I'm going to show you guys the entire FBA shipment process here. It's actually a lot easier than you think. If you've played around on Amazon Seller Central before, you know, it can be very confusing. We spent a ton of time making Boxum to make that that way easier. Boxum is $50 per month and you can try it two weeks completely free at boxum.com here. So step one is actually going to be listing products in our store. And then we want to create shipments. Once those listings are actually created, we can list multiple products at the same time. We can also put multiple products in the same box, the same FBA shipment, everything like that. So say we want to do like this staff or t-shirt right here. All I'm going to do is go on seller amp and grab this ASIN, otherwise known as Amazon standard identification number right here. I could also search it in Amazon's catalog too and go ahead and paste this guy in here. So if I just hit new SKU right here, we can see our list price here. Then we want to put in our actual purchase cost, right? So list price, you want to match the buy box initially here. Buy cost, you want to put in 20 or whatever you actually paid for this item. Typically for something to be profitable, you have to buy it for half or less of what you can sell it for on Amazon. So that'd be nice and profitable there. Supplier, we just want to go down here. We can put like JC Penney's right here. Date purchase, go ahead and put that in condition new. And then if there was an expiration that you need on this specific item, it would require it. Obviously it's a shirt, so it doesn't expire. Then we just want to go ahead here and hit add listing. We could do multiple products per batch here, but we'll just go ahead here and hit submit FBA listings right here. And then it's going to load up a little bit as these listings get added to our actual storefront. And I'll check in with you guys when it's in there. All right, guys. So a couple minutes later, we can see that's now live. It can take typically between 10 and 30 minutes for this to actually get added to your account. And now we can see this guy's active. So now we just need to go to dashboard and then create shipment and actually create a shipment.
creating the shipment here, you can literally name it whatever you want. We'll just call it like software, video, test here, right? Fulfillment type, FBA. If you did want to list FBA, it would be the exact same process with Inboxum right there. Ship from address. This is your address, not the UPS or post office location you drop it off at. FBA stuff will always be UPS pretty much though. FBM will either be USPS or UPS right there. Just whatever's cheapest through Amazon right there. So I have a test address. You can have multiple addresses in there right there. Box contents. I like doing 2D barcodes on the box and professional plan, which are just better FBA box labels you can put on. We've seen that tend to lead to a smoother check-in process right there as well. And then in terms of pricing here, I like having this on and just listing your stuff 25% above the buy box automatically there. Auto print F and SKU labels. I like those for those little FBA labels right there as well. Then we can add in both of these as well right here. Now I just want to go ahead to create shipment right here. And now back at the search page, this is where we actually want to search up the listings that are now in our account that we can go ahead and add to the shipment right here. So I can either search it or just go ahead and plug these in right here. And then we just go ahead and pop this in right here. And we'd see buy cost populated. Say we do like 10 units to start right here. You could obviously do whatever amount you had right there. Supplier, date purchased right there. And then we can see prep category, Amazon provided, prep owner, seller owner right there. Keep going with this FBA shipment right here. Now we can see we could do multiple products per shipment here. We'll go ahead and add this in. And then in terms of when you actually want to get these, so seller and keep but get them right away, as well as box them right away from the get-go in terms of managing your business the correct way. Because not only is listing and shipping through box them, but also know all your numbers and you might as well have all your buy costs and organization correct from day one here, right here. So now we'll just go ahead to continue, submit products and let's move on to step to right here. Here in step two, guys, now we actually want to print out those F and SKU labels right here. So we just go to F and SKU label, print them out. This is what goes on the outside of the poly bag or over the barcode on specific product, depending on what Amazon requires here. You can just buy them on Amazon nice and easy. And now on other Amazon shipment softwares, you have to do like a bunch of dragging and dropping right here to actually create the boxes you're going to send to tell Amazon how many boxes and what products are in them. Luckily, box them with bulk assign. It's really easy. So we just go here and hit bulk assign right here. And then say we do 10 units and do one box here. We could do different types, et cetera, et cetera. Here. Dimensions. I like using the ones from Walmart that are 24 by 16 by 19. Obviously for a shipment of this size, it would be a smaller ones here, but you guys get the idea. We can nice and customize that. Then we just want to go ahead into save and print right here. And then we want to move on and go ahead and submit pack groups and move on to step three here. It does take a couple minutes to load between each of these processes right here, just because we're sending daily off to Amazon through box and Amazon seller central. Here at step number three, pretty much starting to finish off the shipment right here. We want to designate where our shipment's actually going to go. We have three different options here. One being for 17 bucks, North Carolina, one being for 17 bucks and total of 21 here going to New Mexico. And the one here for 33 going to New Mexico as well. Or the second one was Tennessee, but you guys get the idea right there. You always want to choose the, the cheapest one. Pretty much the only case you want is if you had a ton of stock in one warehouse already, wanted to spread it a little bit out, go to the cheapest one here. We'd see 20 bucks, right? The per pound is actually pretty high on this, but it's a small shipment just for an example for this video, guys. And we just want to go ahead and hit continue, confirm placement option and accept shipping charges right here. Finishing off the shipment here in step four, guys, this is literally the entire Amazon FBA shipment process right here. We could reprint that from skill labels if we wanted to. If not, we just want to go here and hit print UPS and FBA box labels right here. Then we want to go ahead and see these. We can see that 2D barcode right here and the shipping label. Both those go on the outside of the box. So now you guys know how to actually analyze products using seller and keep it right and the box I'm listing and shipping process as well. And now the four software you're going to use is pretty much once you're getting the bar and once you're getting some consistent sales, you want to start using a repricing software. Once you got like 10 plus ASINs listed in your storefront, my favorite one for beginners is going to be BQL right here. It's $25 a month base. I have a full tour on my channel. Also looks like they got some type of sale going on right here as well. What BQL and other repricers actually do guys is they work to get you more buy box share at higher prices. So you don't know the buy box algorithm as well as BQL's AI does, for example. And so 24 seven, rather than you having to manually lower your prices or raise your prices, depending how specific product's going, BQL's algorithm is going to do that for you. So you basically just put like a minimum and a maximum and a mode on the repricer, and then it's going to do heavy lifting in terms of your pricing for you, which like I said, makes sense once you're consistently getting some sales here. So seller amp, keep unboxing right away from the get-go for product research and listing and shipping, and then BQL for your pricing once you're an established seller, once you got some agents listed in your storefront. If you guys want personalized one-on-one -on -one help implement this stuff, I'll leave a link down below in the description for my coaching program application. My free course on my channel is awesome too. It's eight hours long. I'd really recommend going through that entire thing. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. See you guys in the next one.